how to make $500 a day locally buying and selling products. I am uh, <clears throat> coming off a few deals right now. I just um, I bought a weight set for 150 and I sold it for 400 so that's 250 right there. I, uh, I bought another phone that I'll have to send in to this buyer that I have. I bought it for $275. Um, I'll mail it in. I'll get $400. So that's 375 right there. I bought a Norwalk juicer for where's it at? Where's it at? Three hundred dollars, and I'll be able to sell that for probably net of six hundred, I think. So that right there is well over five hundred dollars, and that shows you that um, in order to really, really pull it off, sometimes you gotta spread your wings a little bit, especially if you're in a smaller area. Um, my hometown is maybe 200,000 or so. There's some bigger cities, you know, close to me of <clears throat> a lot more people. So sometimes you will have to travel. Um, but the way you do it is you learn multiple niches. Uh, phones is a really good one. Uh, weights is a really good one. And I've had some success with appliances like a juicer. I've sold a blender, a juicer, and, um, I sold a uh, vacuum cleaner, a few, va well, a few va vacuum cleaners. And so when you start learning the prices of all these little things, um, then you have more options. And let's say there's no phones or there's no vacuums or there's just no whatever it is that you're trying to sell in your area. Uh, you can travel a little bit, let's say up to an hour, hour and a half, two hours if you, know, if you can find a few deals that makes sense and make two three hundred bucks um, but you have to look on Facebook marketplace offer up and let go those are kind of the big the big three Facebook marketplace being the biggest but also the most competition um, and so here's the clincher method of clincher methods you find an item it's an outlier this juicer is an outlier I mean it's 2600 bucks new and I got it for three hundred dollars. That is an outlier. I bought a rainbow vacuum cleaner for five hundred, for yeah, five hundred bucks, and those sell for twenty five hundred to three grand new. That is an outlier. I knew it was a good deal. I knew it was a good deal. Um, so there's two methods that I use when you find those deals where you're just like, this deal is amazing, and you know it's amazing because you look for things that you're familiar with, whether it's like book sacks or shoes. Um, the shoes I'm wearing, I got for $10. They're Brooks, they're running shoes, I run a lot. Um, those are 130 to 150 bucks new. They're used, they have great tread on them, $10. I mean, that's a great deal. If I wanted to, I probably could resell them for $25, $30. The only problem is, I'm not gonna find anybody else crazy enough to sell me $10 shoes, I don't feel like. That was an outlier deal. So. You look for those outlier deals, and when you find them, you, if they're really, really crazy, you offer them more than they're asking, and you do it with your first message. You say, uh, I know you're asking 50, but I'll do 75, and uh, as long as you'll put it on pending, I can come in such and such an amount of time. I did that with a deal where it was um, the Bowflex 552 dumbbells, so they're 52 and a half, adjustable pound pound adjustable uh, dumbbells and they sell brand new when you can actually get them for 330 bucks um, but right now they're selling on eBay for maybe seven or eight hundred bucks and then locally uh, you can easily sell them for 400 well this chick had them listed for 50 and so I knew she probably had a million messages I hit her up she said it's pending I said I'll give you 75 I'll even and here's another method I'll even give you $25 non-refundable right now, and if I don't show up by tomorrow, then you can keep my $25 and you can relist them for $50, like a crazy moron. Um, so I did that, she said okay, she put it on pending, she told that other person, sorry, I got a better offer, and she focused in on me as the, the sole person. And I bought that for $75, I sold it the next day, Easily, I probably, I guess I could have sold it for more because nobody negotiated with me. I sold it for four hundred dollars, so that's three hundred and twenty-five dollars just by offering a little bit more. If it's a good deal on Facebook Marketplace, you better believe they are getting thousands of views and hundreds of messages, and 
you better be standing out somehow. You better have a clean profile, uh, a good intro message. Don't just say, is this available? That's the surest way to lose to someone like me who has a original typed message. You know, hey, I'm interested. When can I come get it? Or I'm interested. I see you have it for 50, but I'll give you 75. Or just something that's going to catch their eye amongst hundreds. I'm telling you, hundreds of people hitting them up. When I've had good items at good deals, I've gotten as much as three, 400 messages uh, for that item. And the people that stood out were just very normal, but they also were you know, a little bit aggressive at the same time. So to sum this up, don't neglect offer up, don't ne neglect uh, let go. If you really wanna get crazy with it, go back to the Craigslist days and look in all those. And just one last tip, one last tip. You've gotta look briefly every hour and I'm talking like two seconds two minutes maybe three minutes every hour and you're gonna find the newest listed stuff and it's gonna show up at the top right or if you look up in your category it's gonna probably show towards the top and if you're on that if you get on that person early then you're going to get that deal when someone else would have gotten that deal and all all they did differently or better was they messaged them before you, and that's it. So uh, message message early, message often, check often. You don't have to check for a long time on Facebook. Just get on there briefly. It'll show you the most recently listed. Uh, if it's a very, very good deal, offer more. That rainbow vacuum cleaner for 500, he had it for 450. I said, I'll give you 500 right now, because I knew I could either sell it on eBay for 1300 or I, I knew other people in the industry that I could go ahead and sell it to and I ended up selling it for 900 uh, the same day. And then, uh, so offer more, offer a small non-refundable cash deposit if you feel like their profile looks good and they look like an honest person. I haven't been ripped off yet. Um, if you're very new to this, maybe don't try that. I don't want your first deal to be somebody that you sent $25 and either you're a bad judge character or you're a great judge character, but they just ripped you off like people will. Um, I've been doing that for about the last two, three weeks. I haven't been ripped off yet. So my sample size is small, probably about 10 people. Um, but that one move alone has made me probably two to three extra grand that I wouldn't have made because these were deals I had to travel a little bit to get to or I was eating dinner or about to eat dinner couldn't get to them so anyway these tips are cat's pajamas man so <clears throat> if you have any questions comment below i'd be happy to help